Well, we know it's cold out there right now, but are we looking at any of that snow here, Kristen? We, there's a chance that we could see some lake effect snow bands start to kick up to the north and we're talking north close to I 80 and north of there as we head toward later tonight because the wind's going to shift direction. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Otherwise, it's very cold and that's the other big story. We're looking at a potential record low tonight for Pittsburgh. It's possible right now. We're already down to 30 degrees wind south southwest at seven. Here are the uh, records today's record. Well, we almost made it, but luckily we did not. And that would have been for the coldest high temperature. In other words, the high today only hit 31 degrees. But back in 1951, the high only reached 27. It was the coldest that the high temperature ever got on this day in Pittsburgh. So we missed that record, thankfully, but not by much. Keep in mind, our normal highs are in the upper 40s. We only hit 31. The low temperature tomorrow morning, 19 is what we're forecasting. The low for the record low is 17, and there are several areas around the region that could be flirting with a record low tomorrow morning. So we'll keep our eyes on that. The third story is the wind chill. This is the temperature forecast for the next 24 hours. You can see down into those upper teens, lower 20s by 7 a.m. But look at the wind chill. We could dip down into single digit wind chills in many areas as we head toward tomorrow morning, especially for tomorrow afternoon. Bundle up for the Steelers game. Also down into eastern Tucker County, the higher elevations of West Virginia, they do have a wind chill advisory in effect overnight tonight. So here are here's a little bit of better news. Here are the low temperatures as we head through the next few days. Yes, still cold after tomorrow, but they get better. We get back closer to normal by the middle of the week as we break out of this deep freeze. Here's a cold front that's swinging closer to the area that's touching off more of those snow showers up across the Great Lakes. As these winds shift around later tonight, we could see a couple of these lake effect snow bands affect the northern portion of our viewing area. So here's 11 o'clock. Watch what happens up into portions of Mercer, Venango, Lawrence, Armstrong, Butler counties. Few flurries, maybe even a couple of snow showers. Don't be surprised if by lunchtime tomorrow, areas north of I 80 pick up an inch or so of new snow, and that could be Clarion County. That could be up into Crawford County, northern portions of Venango County. After that, things finally start to break. We have sunshine the rest of the day. Steelers game will be cold but sunny, and then we're back into sunshine. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So for tonight for light up night, definitely bundle up overnight lows tonight by tomorrow morning down to the upper teens. We could see those snow showers pop up to the north. Could see a few flurries everywhere else, but no accumulation except for areas to the north. 30 the high tomorrow sunshine through the afternoon, but the Steelers game only 28 degrees for the kickoff. So definitely wear the layers. Here's your seven day forecast Monday. A little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. We're up to 44 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, upper 40s, close to 50 with sunshine. Maybe a good time to put up those holiday lights while the weather's warmer. Thanksgiving Day 51 and still pretty mild as we head into the start of next weekend.